What is up, guys? Pie Muffin here, and we are back with some more Trails of Cold Steel 3. Last time, we continued with the whole situation happening in Heimdallar. Uh, obviously, Osborn has managed to recruit the help of a lot of unsavory individuals. The Gnomes, Ouroboros, uh, two of the highest-ranking Jaeger Corps, and Reen and the others are trying to make their way to where the Carol Imperial Villa is to put a stop to everything that's going on uh, with this whole stated prophecy. And uh, we are continuing to make our way there. Uh, and there's a lot of other characters helping us get there and doing a lot of extra stuff. So let's just keep moving. Entering a blocked scene, so. Oh, we're out of the city, apparently. We ran all the way here? We normally have to come here by train. Crypt of Demise, the Grawl of Erebos. By the way, this is the final dungeon, so we are getting close to the end. Uh-huh. But is this a case where it's like warped again and then like once if we're able to turn things back to normal then it'll go back to normal? Okay, it, it probably is. Yeah, and you can even see Zephyr mixed in there. You don't have Zephyr Corpse, just the big ones. They're going to be blocking our path, too. Really could use Lloyd and Estelle's help right about now. What? Well, George has a uh, combat shell. It doesn't look as high tech as uh, Altina and Milliam's, though. It looks more man made. George Senpai. Uh, do we really need all this? Okay, Dubly. This is the one thing I, I can't get over about Dubly. She constantly is like, your struggle is pointless. You know, and she thinks that's going to stop us from doing anything. Like, Dubly should know us well enough at this point where she's like, no words I say is going to stop them. They're going to come this way anyway. Well, you say the two as big as the Jaeger cards, but it's mostly Red Constellation and then these two. リーン I guess, I guess it's fair to call him a twerp with the age difference. なんとか<笑> 
You know what it has seemed so far? Like, besides Gaius, uh, every veteran dominion we've come across has, like, a sense of humor. Like, not, like, a normal sense of humor, but, like, almost like a twisted one. So you got, like, Thomas, Wazzy, and Kevin. They're all kind of, like, goofy in their own way. Maybe guys will change. Maybe that's just part of the trade. Emma, Serena, no, we're not going to fight you. We're going to skip you. We got some reinforcements. Oh yeah, we got some reinforcements. Hi, Randy. <laughs> Agate and Tio on a bike. Not surprising. What's the plan? ヒールの魔女。第二中波と思った方が良さそうね。そんじゃ俺らは銃剣たちの相手をしようか。ずっと TMP少佐の相手をしよう。だったら僕は。トールズ第二文庫。おおボイ、ヘビーゴー。これより協力者の力も借りて聖杯の攻略を開始します。イエス。こちらも出ます。トールズ三角印本校。これより第二の迎
Good work, Michael. He was really gonna go and kill Toa. Oh, there's a gap. Bye-bye. So Campanella has now, at least on screen, fought against three dominions. Well, eh. I guess he never really fought Kevin, but they've met. Okay, so I guess it's better to say he's met three dimensions. <laughs> well, I guess four now. We don't know if he ever met, uh, Barkhorn. Here we are. Is that blood? Crawl of Erebos, top layer. Well, if you really think about it, um, Think about all the people that we didn't see outside that must still be in here. We didn't see McBurn. We didn't see Claire. So there's still gonna be some obstacles down here. So how many people we got? We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Obviously, we're missing a few, such as Milliam and Ash. Ash is locked up, understandably. I always felt it was so weird that uh, the final dungeon of this game, like, you don't have all of New Class 7 with you. Oh, Altina as well. So it's like, we only have, like, just about half of New Class 7. <laughs> and then, of course, the rest of Old Class 7. ケッシャの首都に執行者知性の協力者そしてアイアンブリードですああでも行かなきゃうん何が立ちはだかろうが止まるわけにはいかないよね新旧含めた七組としてまえ進むだけだええ私たちが Oh yeah, Sharon as well wasn't out there. Arisa-san, <laughs> そうですね。待ち受けるのは極限の戦い。だが、恐れることはない。2年以上にわたって寝られ 
新たな力も加えた俺たちなら今のトールスの7組なら乗り越えられないものはないはずだ状況開始黄昏の開始を阻止し拘束されたアルティラも解放する俺たちを送り出してくれた全ての人たちに報いるためにも全員揃って何があっても絶対生きて帰るぞ Good speech. You know, Lloyd and Reen really got the whole speech shtick down. Estelle wasn't really much of a、uh, speech person. You can swap out your attack members using the camp menu at any time. Yeah, so they do this.、Uh, okay. So they do this. Okay. So yeah, unlike. Like Cold Skill 1 and 2, or even like the Crossbell games, where you would have to, like, a certain row of characters would just stand up here and you could switch them out. Now they just have you carry everyone with you, and then, you know, you have your four main attack members, three support, and then that's more or less,、uh, and then everyone else in the back. Alright, uh. I、right, will go with that. May as well. We can at least get started down this、uh, path of hell. You can actually gear up the.、Uh, Old members now. Yeah, we don't even have a ton of party members, realistically. Yeah, we're not gonna need money after this, so may as well use it all. Yeah, it's fine. So let me try and think who, who are we gonna have to deal with down here? We've got obviously Ouroboros, we've got McBurn and the Steel Maiden. Because we didn't see them outside. I would assume、uh, Azure Siegfried is down here, aka Crow. It's really just hard to like, remember all the characters that are going to be weighing down here for us. Obviously, all the Iron Bloods. Cedric. Alright, that should be good. And even if it wasn't good, let me look at all this we have. All right,、uh, I guess let's get started. Time for Class 7 to、uh, really put some work in. I really don't know how much fighting I want to do here because I think I really just want to. I don't know. Because I think the enemies down here are going to be pretty tanky. Got it. 
Oh, it healed up. That should do it. I guess I'll go for like the smaller enemies moving forward. Seems like a pretty straightforward uh, dungeon though. Oh, one of these things. Just gotta make our way down. Two treasure chests back here. Guess we'll take this thing out. I guess Elliot we don't need in here unless we actually need healing. parts whenever we finish this part i'll remember to uh i'm gonna put accessories on everybody because i'm sure no one's wearing everything i mean we can look real quick oh no they are they're all still wearing what i had on them last okay i guess it's it stayed on them because we still have them as part of our like party even when they're not physically with us all the time All the red lines on the map are very confusing. It's like different floors and stuff. Okay, I see it. That treasure chest is down there. But wasn't there one... I'm confused. There was one to the right we kind of missed. Hold on. Oh no, I'm crazy. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, definitely don't want to fight all these groups, to be totally honest with you. Is it a regular chest? Alright, we may do with that. Everyone, look. It's them. Who's waiting for us? Oh, Lord. The Almighty Conflagration and the Steel Maiden. So that's her. 
seems they sent their strongest pawns to the field first. They're coming out swinging right out of the gate. What should we do? I can't imagine we'll be able to avoid them. Interesting, perhaps this is fate. No matter how daunting the challenge before us, we have no reason to stop here. I shall challenge her as a descendant of the Arsade bloodline, and as one of Thor's horned lions. Uh, now is the time to fulfill my duty as one of the Dominion. For the win, the goddess in Class 7, I will demonstrate the power that has passed down to me. Leave the blazing demon's black flames to me. I'll suppress them. Your experience handling those in Crossbell should come in handy here. Laura, Emma, you too, guys. All right, lend us your strength. We shall counteract them and fight with all our power. Let's do it. It's not like we're really fought anything crazy. Oh, okay. Emma needs to be... That's what they were showing those three for us for. Okay. Well, I'll just switch Muse then. Oh, as attack members. Okay, so they need to be in the front front. He's always wanting to fight somebody. <laughs> oh well. Oh, don't bring up his name. He's not gonna like that. Hey, hey, Mazwa Zensayo Ajuoto Shioka, ne? His lines are always just so funny, I like saving them. Masaka Anatatachiga, Sai Shon, it's a man curic serito. Oh, in a tasogarito, you know, Nani or Motas no Castelo. Subete wa oh, in a large no gain and cake up or Michi Bik Tame. So she was touching it up there. Yeah, like she's one thing. Uh, McBurn doesn't care what happens around him as long as he gets a good time. リアンヌサンドロットとの我が父ビクターアルゼイドに代わり挨拶させていただこうアルゼイドが末ようこそと言っておきましょう。What a pleasant exchange. ですがその名で呼ぶ必要はありません。すでにエスはアルゼイドのもの。ここにいるのは過去の幻影です。ですが私にとって目標であり乗り越えたいと思っていた存在。250年寝られしアルゼイドの剣。どうか受けてはもらえるだろうか。いいでしょう。私も気になっていたところです。しかし、剣将の娘はともかく、やっと一人前の魔女
Oh, that's the thing she threw. Emma. It's stigma. Gaius <laughs> Oh, he's going all out right off the gate. We're fighting some pretty heavy hitters right off the bat. You think they'd save them for later? Oh, everyone's all uh, powered up. What are you casting? <laughs> eh? Brought everyone down to 200. I don't like this. Well, that's helpful. We're all burnt, too, so that's... I mean, Reen obviously can move because he doesn't have a burn on him. Hopefully it doesn't count as moving for Emma. Okay. She can't cast it on herself. Oh, but it didn't get rid of the burn. Oh, wait, no, yes, it did. It didn't heal, though. Um... This is kind of a bad situation. Counting on you, Elliot. Out a lot, actually. You know what? Because we get the sixty percent damage dealt plus a critical. Like 40k each. 
手加減の必要はなさそうですね。すごい。Ah, she healed a little bit. Oh, him too. Yeah, all right. Who's weaker? What she did to Lloyd and the others. Uh, both our healers are down. Just skip it since he's gonna one shot everybody. This may be a redo. We don't have a healer, unfortunately, but I think Yuna has some. Yeah, Yuna can be used as a healer if we need her to. Heal. Well, we didn't need that much. Oh, you know what? Let's see how it looks. Throw it into the sky after transforming his spear. Spear of the heavens. Yeah, might put everyone else's stigma to shame. Oh, that was actually really useful. All right, we might be able to do this.
wrong enemy to be hitting, but... She's almost dead. Alright, now we just gotta deal with McBurn, who still has like 45k left. Right, uh Oh boy. It's over, McBurn. Let's put an end to it. Alright, we managed that somehow. Unfortunately, the other three don't get any XP because they were dead. You can't revive people not out. Ooh, the Soaring Phoenix! Yeah, I can't imagine those plants were gonna halt. <laughs> withstand those flames for too long. Oh boy. Maybe we should help. They're beyond human. No one could do this. Don't worry. I believe in them. Same. The girls will knock this one out. Whatever may come, they'll make it through. Mm hmm And guys, too. All three of them will be okay. Wow. Their bond from being class 7 is unbelievable. Then we should walk the path that's been laid before us. Agreed. We lack half the forces the enemy has. But that means we'll work twice as hard for a win. Well, we'll be counting on you. You're just as much class 7 as we are. We can make it together. 
That was a beast of an obstacle we just passed, but there's more on the way. Right. No break for us just yet. We keep moving. All right. Well, uh, I think that's where we're going to stop for this time. So, Laura, Gaius, and Emma stayed behind to hold off McBurn and the Steel Maiden. But we still have a number of obstacles still in our way. And uh, as I'm sure most would probably expect at this point, it's going to be a running theme here where uh, characters related to uh, whoever we fight are the ones that end up uh, staying behind uh, as we continue to uh, move forward. So uh, look forward to uh, all of that kind of fun stuff. So next time we're going to continue downward on this path and uh, see what awaits us next time. So that's going to be it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.